Who's been the most consistent in terms of work ethic in 2011? The scene for me that's been most consistent in terms of how much music they've put out there, if that's what we're going to base consistency on. I'm not seeing the favouritism, but it's been rappers from South London. Yeah. Political Peak. Guess has been putting in his work, Guess stays grinding. All the ads and Political Peak. These guys got a new fucking video online like every fucking week or two. That's a lot of work. Things have to get edited. When I think about how young they are, like what, 17, 18 and that, to get things rolling when you're that young, you must be really like wanting to do this, you know? So I feel the passion in them guys. I'm not even saying that I bump their music every day. I can't say that because I'd be lying if I did. I wish them good because they put in work, man. So good luck to those motherfuckers, man. I really do mean that. I don't think you can deny as far as rap music is concerned in this country. And I'm saying this as mm. someone who spent most of my life in South London. The North London, Chipmunk, Scorcher, Wretch, yeah, SAS, Sincere, definitely. Biggs. Those guys have showed the oh, most yeah. consistency so in the last. And pretty much, your proper rap in this country right now is run by that group. To say proper rap, I don't know that terminology because what the fuck is proper rap? But it's the rap you like. I can dig that. That's fine. Maybe I was a bit wrong in saying that it's been dominated by itself. They've been grinding and being consistent as well. It's cool. It's good with the South London thing. I'm not trying to make it only a thing about South anyway. For me, that's not the issue because as Snips mentioned, Biggs is doing his thing, SAS is doing their thing, and they're all from North London. So it's like you can't even take that away from them because you know how areas have waves. There's waves in it. If you look at how Americans did it, first it was a like G funk shit, West Coast shit was a thing that played its part. Then it was East Coast and South. So things move around, you know. And I just wanted to make a point of that. I would say Rich definitely been consistent this year. I'd say Tiny Temper. When it comes to consistency in 2011, I feel like Tiny Temper has delivered consistently, but I feel a little bit like isolated from him because he's kind of gone to the states and left us alone. And that's okay. That's great for him. When you talk about Rich and Tiny Temper, they've got a machine behind them, so it's a bit different when you've but got. But it doesn't people. mean they're not. Yeah, they're yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. Reason why I chose the artists I chose because these are people doing it off their own backs. I consider it a bit of a different class of work ethic because I'm saying when you're rich and tiny temper, you've got people doing things for you. I pay attention to artists who might not be there in the forefront. Everyone I just mentioned from Wretch, from Sincere, mm. Chipmunk, SAS. I can say, for example, Biggs because I know him personally. Yeah. His work ethic, I've never seen anything like no, it. The Biggs work that that guy puts in. I think it's a tough one because essentially we can only really go on the work ethic that we've seen. I gave it to Biggs because I've actually physically seen the work he's put in this year. Yeah. But then he might not be considered to have that same yeah. work ethic because he's got yeah. in the people. Well, it's not like about consistency right. over the whole year yeah. as opposed to work ethic. So you can have the best work ethic but not necessarily being consistent with your talent. Yeah, that could be the reverse. Be consistent throughout See, the year. I think I'll stick with Tiny Temper. I look like a big Tiny Temper fan and I am. I think he's worked so hard this year. He's been to the States, he's been back. To have a guy rap with Justin Bieber to me is amazing. We're banging against each other here because we're talking about what's come to fruition in 2011 mm -hmm. and what's happened before. Yeah. So working in 2011 you may not even have seen the results of the hard work. Yeah. Who's been the most successful in 2011 could be a better way to look at this because right now we're all arguing the same. Right, so right, are we saying who's more successful in terms of right. getting the material to the public? We started off the year with Tiny still having Pass Out ringing yeah. in people's ears. And Pass Out was a record that was essentially groundbreaking because we've never seen an urban record like that hit the charts. Yeah. By the end of the year, Tiny was, was making pop Euro dance records. Yeah. So to me, that takes away from his consistency. If I were to look at Tiny and be consistent, I would have said he would have continued to make that credible music that was actually getting played in hip hop nights and continue to stay a level of success making that kind of music as opposed to going a complete pop route and then having dance records. And also the reason why I mentioned Gets so. for me is like you will hear him at the forefront of the scene with a brand new tune like on a level that's his tune right now that's making noise yeah. but you still hear him on a track with some nobody from the hood that you're like oh shit he's yeah. spitting with that guy. Most consistent artists from 2011 would be like Gets as usual, Political Peak, Odd Ads, probably throw an English Frank in there. Tiny Temple probably has the most effort for the 2011 mm. period. He's the best currently in the situation. Yes Gets and a lot of gigs and a lot of the others are grinding, but it's the graph that happened beforehand that has built them to where they are now. Tiny was still grinding like everybody else beforehand, he hit that. Of course, yeah, the other machine is behind him now, as you've suggested. Mm. It's perfectly incredible what he's done and the way he's gone. He's gone after what we all would. He has to go after the chair and do it as it is now, because he doesn't know when it's going to end. So he might as well do it now and get it done. <laughs> Good on him, that's what I say. JME going to the news agents and getting like £10 boy but no credit and then they print out the slip and then at the bottom of the slip I swear it said something like you done no I thought oh, rah these men actually doing it that's just big money that's a power move Gets on the level of friction, Kano, Scorcher and Wretch for me it's like that track was progressive and I fucking love the shit out of that so I fucking <laughs> loved it you know what I'm saying